Between these two guys, they are a one-two punch that St. Mary's definitely needs to be aware of. Now, Matt, what would you say St. Mary's is going to have to do to shut down Mr. the star of NCAA here? Well, Grant Mullins is going to score. That's one thing they're not going to stop, is he's going to score buckets. You just got to make sure all of his points are difficult. He's always got to have hands in his face, and he can't get open shots. If he's going to get open shots, you're going to lose a game. You can't let a guy with his talent get as hot as he can get. So I wouldn't be surprised if St. Mary's threw some zone looks at him, maybe some presses, just to get the ball out of his hands and make other guys beat you. Ben, ben Caso. Ben Caso, more of a defender, had some great hands in the semifinal games, came up with a lot of steal. There's Mullins to the basket for his first. Definitely not going to be his last points. Definitely. There's going to be, it's going to get a little personal, I have a feeling. I hope it does. I mean, if these guys are as competitive as I think oh, they might be. Oh, that's an NCAA Division I pull-up there from Grant Mullins. Going to his right, 5-4 to four against his heavily favored Notre Dame team coming into it. There's a backdoor cut from Mullins. Mullins can score for more than just from three. They're going to have to really keep an eye on him. Absolutely. I mean, he's known for his three-point shooting. I mean, you know, I've heard a few people already today tell me if he crosses half, he's within range. But St. Mary's can't forget that he's got a well-rounded game, and he can score from anywhere. And Vole is a big, long body. That's what he does for the St. Mary's team. What a pass from Grant Mullins. Threading the needle. Woohoo! That was nice. That's a, hey, as a, as a former point guard, I love to see that. You see the replay up there. Look at the legs and arms that ball f finds its way through. Oh, but Notre Dame keeps it, and you cannot lose Grant Mullins, because that is just going to happen over and over again. Right, but one, one thing that's got to happen is even if there's a loose ball on the floor, you've got to know where Grant Mullins is. You cannot let him get wide open threes, loose ball or not. Absolutely, man. I mean, everybody that's watching this game right now knows that he is their guy. Oh! What can you say? What can you say about a play like that, Jared? You, Grant Mullins rises. A, a gem on defense. I mean, he can play some serious defense. You, you know, he unfortunately got a little piece of the arm there, but that is a tough, tough shot by Mullins. When you get a player like Mullins coming in, they don't need him. No, I mean, when you... Oh, there's Mullins. Picking off that pass easily for the game. When you've got guys like Mullins and Dooley, you know, you don't necessarily need a lot of size. They're going to play quick. They're going to play fast. There's Mullins just perfectly reading that pass and just getting probably the easiest two points he's going to get tonight for St. Mary's. Absolutely. I can guarantee both these coaches are going to be looking for some. Oh, yeah, Mullins is just take, taking over this game at, to a certain point. That He's had two of those blocks where he's kept in play for his team. You know, you see a lot of shot blockers. They like to smack that ball out of bounds. Absolutely. And he's kept two of those blocks in play where the, his team can get transition going the other way. He's been a big reason why this is only a two-point game. And Mullins will get the ball at the top here. He'll shoot that pull up all day, and there's a reason for it. That's another three team, and they're showing it with that. Because St. Mary's, a lot of these guys, you know, Vol, Thompson, Hannah, Lance, they're all great 12s. They've been here before. They've been down to, big, to good players, so they know not to panic. It's only the first half, and it's a one-point game now when Mullins is going to work. Inside for the two. Inside, outside. It doesn't matter. Grant Mullins will score. Game will get it on the baseline. Again, the ball goes to Mullins. He shows the running floater, and one gets the block. Grant Mullins going to the line for the three-point play. What can you say, you look, You look flabbergasted, G. What can I say? Like, this kid is the real deal. Like, there is no doubt this kid is the real deal. I, the big thing that impresses me on that play is he goes, the help defense comes in, and he adjusts his body. Yeah. He doesn't, you know, lean in and get a charge. Oh, he adjusts, exactly. goes straight up. I mean, that is a sign of a very, very skilled and talented player. I mean, he's in another league right now. Well, he's just doing everything. No. Look, he just got a rebound there, and now he's leading the break. And the dish to Dooley. can imagine that this man right here, Grant Mullins, is going to be taking this last shot. I think everyone in the gym knows that. Grant Mullins, just the ISO. He's going up. Oh, my goodness. Coming off the bench shooting the three ball, is that what it's going to take or just some good team play? I think team plays as Coach Roth, and we'll throw it a break, and we'll be back for the second half here on Rogers TV. Are in on defense and offense, and Notre Dame as good and as much hype as that is the real deal. This kid can play, and he showed us everything tonight. I mean, he's scoring the ball, he's getting assists, he's getting rebounds, he's getting steals. You know, this kid is not just a scorer; he can play this game. He is. 
Welcome back to the Grant Mullen Show, which is, sorry, it's the 24th Saints Invitational here at St. Benedict's Secondary School in Cambridge, where it's Notre Dame up 35-29 over home St. Mary's. And the man you see with the ball right now, Grant Mullen, is literally the show right now. Cut by Mullins, and that's one of the risks you run when you play right in a guy's chin, is that backdoor look is always there. You're playing so tight. The offense always has the advantage when it comes to movement. You're not going to be able to move as quick defensively. So when you're playing that close to Mullins and he cuts back door, that's something that St. Mary's is going to have to live with. Playing, but that back door is going to be open. He make, Mullins makes two for two. And Bank has her there, but you just, you got to know when you're beat and not to force anything. Mullins. I had to get one plug in there for you, buddy. You know, I appreciate that. Uh, and Grant Mullins had to get just another three, didn't he? If you wanted to compare me to Mullins, I'd be okay with that as well. No. Their defense is great, but they're going to need someone to score. Because you know Mullins will. Invitational here at St. Benedict's. I'm Matt Hayes with Jared McGinnis. This is the championship game in the start of the fourth quarter with the Notre Dame Irish up 50 to 30. Well, there's one to get him, get him rolling. So we'll and see if they look for Vol. They haven't looked for him inside that much, maybe outside now. But Notre Dame still looking for their man, Grant Mullins. Hand right in his face. You can't play much better defense than that. But kind of sparks Thompson, and now he can hit some of those outside shots. Good defense from Mancazzo, not fouling. But a great shot from the corner from o off with Mullins. And we've seen it all game. I mean, this is a disciplined group, Notre Dame. They're not going to do anything crazy. That could be almost called crazy in a different sense. Mullins slashing to the rim with the and we'll look back, and here's Mullins just almost casually slicing to the rim. A rim between three, four blue jerseys. He makes it look really easy. And, and that's what the great players do. I mean, that's what solid players do. This is why this young man is going down to Columbia University next year. And, you know, don't be surprised if we hear from him while he's down there that he's doing very well. With it, he puts it out to Scott. Scott Mullins on a two-on-one. Mullins will finish, obviously. Oh, undercut a little bit. 71-54 with just 20 seconds left in the championship game. Mullins makes the end one. 57, the Notre Dame Irish are your 2012 Saints Invitational champions. And you know what, Matt? We had a great game today. I mean, I'm sure St. Mary's wishes the outcome was a little bit different. But you know what? They played extremely well throughout this entire tournament. They have nothing to go home disappointed about. They've got the second half of their season coming up. Um, and I know they're doing extremely well in their District 8 league play. So, I mean, a great final, a great game. I'm sure, like I said, they wish the result was a little bit better. But you got to hand it to Notre Dame. They've got a great team with, obviously, a star player in Grant Mullins. I am here with the man, the myth, the legend, Grant Mullins. Grant, you did everything. You played offense, you played defense, you passed the ball around. The only thing you didn't do is wash the uniforms and mop the floor. How would you judge your performance tonight? Uh, I, I had a good game. My shots were going in, but it's really uh, our team. Our team played great, you know, got, got me open with screens, passed the ball great, and the rest of our team hit shots, so it was a good all-around effort. I would say that as well. You know, you guys are, play a good team game while, you know, you are an obviously excellent basketball player. You, you did mix it up well. Is that what you like to do as a player? Yeah, I like to mix it up. I mean, you come down, uh, hit a three one time. You, if they're going to expect it next time, you got to do something different. So, yeah, definitely. Now, you guys were the favorites in this tournament, but, you know, playing St. Mary as a team, this was their first time in the tournament. Uh, how would you judge their performance? They're really good. I mean, we haven't seen them play before, but uh, they're athletic, they're fast, so we really had to get back on defense. You know, they could hit shots. So it was, a, it was a great game to play in. Now you're off to Columbia at the next year. Uh, what pressure's on you personally moving from you know winning this tournament and probably many more tournaments this year and then next year maybe the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I know uh, it's exciting for sure. I mean, the, the level of competition is going to be so, uh, so much higher. So I'm just working on my body, my shots, stuff like that to be ready for the next level. All right, well, thanks, Grant. And we'll definitely see you next time here on Rogers TV for some more great basketball and sports. A score, just a pure score, who knows how to pass the ball, which we saw. You see how they can punch, kick, and find open shots. And I wanted to mention one thing about St. Mary's, is although we talked about Grant Mullins all game, we'll continue to talk about him right now, he made a lot of shots, but they were a lot of pretty tough shots. Absolutely. I mean, we talked about it. St. Mary's, it's not like they just came out and let this guy score 30, 40 points on them. I mean, they played hard, extremely good defense on them. He just made some very, very tough shots.